Hey, what's up, guys? Pizza Geek here, and uh, today I'm here with another desktop tutorial. And uh, yeah, today we're gonna have we're gonna be learning something interesting for all those people who like to use C++ or anything who are new to C++. We're gonna learn how to make our own web browser, and uh, our very own web browsers have advantages and disadvantages. Now. Let's start with the advantages to make things sound happy and keep this morale up. Um, it's faster than the other web browsers that you use like iNet, Explorer, um, Mozilla Firefox, and the shitty, crappy Google Chrome. And I'm saying it's shitty is because I finally created my own web browser about a couple days ago. And uh, it takes a little try and error. And, uh, so basically, yeah, I created my own web browser, and I'm here to spread the message to all the wonderful children who'd like to learn. And the wonderful children who lives in this poor, mediocre world who where we have malnourishment occurring everywhere, and food stamps, etc., etc. And may this video educate kids enough to knock some sense into their heads and actually get a life instead of being a jerk off in school. Anyways, yes, the, um, the disadvantages are though that um, the uh, the download tools are not really um, on. You know, I don't really know how to uh, place downloads into your own web browser, which I will eventually learn soon. Um, and as well as um, tabs. Tabs, I'm not sure. You can't really add more than one tab in your own web browser for what I've known. Um, and if you do know, um, link me up, I'll, uh, I'll check it out. And for those of you, uh, who would like to also download my web browser, I have a Mediafire link in the description below, avail available for download. Um, um, basically, yeah. So pretty much that's it, let's, uh, get back to the, um, C++, you wanna open it up, and, uh, obviously also, um, if you guys have been paying close attention to all the buttons, it's a basic functioning um, web browser, and what I mean by basic functioning is that the browser has a backwards button, and I'm pretty sure you guys know backwards was re Fire Retro Burn, Retro Engine, and uh, it was on my liking. You know, space language is on my liking, so it's really your choice to put whatever word you want to put. But there's um, the web browser we're gonna make today contains uh, backwards, forward, go forward, um, search refresh and go home home is quite interesting um so that's done uh let's open up a new project uh i've been clearing a lot of project recently you want to choose a windows form application name it to web browser that browser that's faster than all browser browser that's faster than all browser and i list it on my desktop of course for this tutorial's sake. Alright, and now what the hell's going on? Oh, wait, never mind. Okay, so uh, now you'll see this form, right? Uh, you can choose to expand your screen a little because I like it when I have more space on top. You want to expand so that it can't expand anymore. And what I mean by that is full screen, but it's your choice. In this tutorial, I'm just gonna do freaking normal. Okay, we're not gonna make anything too big for me for this tutorial, but it's you know it's really your choice. It's not my. I'm I can't just force you. I'm not a freaking dictator like Kim Jong Un. I'm not gonna force you to do anything. It's your choice. Um. So firstly, first um. Go down to your properties tab. It's on the bottom right, and you'll find this um highlighted bolded text called Form One. Name it to Web Browser. No, it's called. Mm, uh, I don't know. It's to your liking. Like, mine is called the Shuttle Browser. Shuttle, Google Shuttle. Let's just call it Google Shuttle. Let's pretend that's the new version of the freaking Google Chrome that's slow and shitty in today's world. Um. So yeah, basically that's done, and um, we're done na naming everything. Let's try to put the buttons. We need buttons. We need five buttons, in fact. So let's just find all the five buttons. Oh my god, they're so tiny. Go, oh, but. Um, yeah, you can, um, you guys can also try to do, um, try to duplicate this. You can try to duplicate this, of course. 
just copy and paste and I'm pretty sure you guys know what the hotkey for copy and paste is if y'all don't know what the hotkey for copy and paste is you can go just uh, get out of this video no joke uh, we all should know what copy and paste is the hotkeys and uh, organize these buttons so they would snap first and uh, because uh, you guys can add the web browser later it's your choice but right now we're just trying to focus on putting the buttons real quick organizing it to our likings yeah and uh, some of the buttons we want to put it like thin skinny for the search bar and all that stuff real quick all right Okay, make it smaller. Alright, there we go. So, done, we're done with the buttons. Let's make the web browser, the actual web browser. And uh, it's simple, just go to your toolbox again where you get all the buttons. And you want to get web browser. Just place it right there, and you'll notice it's undocked. But if it's docked, because um, we place the buttons first, so we don't have to have all the bothers we're clicking, like in the right top screen of this thing, that'll say dock with parent container and undock with parent container. And you want it to be undocked with parent container. So you can adjust it to your likings, and make sure you want it to be snapped, and snap to the left and to the right and to the bottom. So you have a whole screen. But not the top. The top, you want to leave some space for your buttons. Alright, so that's done. And uh, we can now officially um, put label, a text box. A text box, not a label. Not yet. Let's not go to the label yet. Um, the text box should be small. The reason I'm putting the text box at the size of a freaking smally little Barbie doll thing is because uh, for a number of reasons. Um... In this web browser, we don't have the exact URL. We only have the searched URL, like kind of like the Bing and Google thing. And what sucks is the the search engine that comes with this web browser that you're making. Don't be surprised, it's Bing. Yes, and they said it's currently beating Google. Ah, shit. Whoa, shit. Uh, shit fall off my desk. Uh, don't mind that. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, shit, man. It's gonna ruin the hardwood floors. Anyways, um, so for these buttons, you want to rename them, obviously. But, uh, yeah, so let's first rename this button the... Um, oh, by the way, if you guys don't know how to rename it, it's down in the properties tab as well. Back to text, how you rename your form. So rename this go back or retro or whatever you want to call it. This one go forward. This one. Oh wait, nope. Home. And this one refresh. And one of them as well, search or go. And uh, yes, let the coding begin. But before we start coding, let's check our web browser. The web browser is the white space, by the way. Find and scroll in the properties tab and find the name. It'll say in two parentheses, open and closed. It'll say it's web in non-capitalized and capitalized B for browser and one. And that's the default. You can shorten it up to your likings and whatever. Okay? So first, let's deal with the search button. The search bar. And the search button also links up with the back not the back button, but the text box. So you don't have to do anything with the text box. It's quick. So for the search button, before you press anything else, keep in mind capitalization, punctuation, everything matters in C++. You put a single comma in the wrong place or a single period in the wrong place, you fucked up your whole code. And you don't want that, don't you? Okay. Anyways, so let's, uh, don't press backspace, like I said, it's gonna fuck your whole code up, and you don't know what to press, because you forgot, or whatever, just, uh, press enter, just enter, tab once, or tab twice, that's enough, and then, uh, you wanna type in for your, um, for your, um, a search button, yes, there are a code called, uh, na the, nav the navigation code, okay, so let me remember this real quick, okay, so it's this... And then you put this, and it'll, it should highlight in blue. And then you put an arrow mark by making make an arrow by putting a dash and a less than sign. Um, this 
and then you put your name of the web browser. Remember, capitalization matters, ladies and gentlemen, or the kids, the wonderful children who's watching this video. This web browser one navigates, or navigate, not navigates, and then you put opening parentheses, another this, arrow, text. Text also comes in um, um, non-capitalized, it's just um, all in standard case, lowercase, but the box for B is capitalized. So watch this video in HD, and you guys can see clearly what I'm typing in, I don't have to explain everything. And then um, text again, the T is capitalized, but this time, and then you put another closing um, parentheses. And this time, if you guys are new to C++, this is where semicolons are mainly used. Congratulations. Cause, um, so let's say you have like a thousand live code. Look, look at how many semicolons we have. Look, just count up the amount of semicolons we have, and pretty much you're going to know 1,000 live code. Oh, don't, don't mind that, 1,000 semicolons, or even more. Um, the next thing you want to do though now is um, like close out the form and go back to your form on the design. And now you can try to go to the refresh button first, or you decide to go back and forward. But the search bar is the main thing that you want to deal with first. So when we're done with the search bar, let's use the go back button. Now you press enter. Don't delete anything and fuck up your code. Type in this again, arrow, web browser, one, another arrow, not question mark, arrow, and for the back one, we all know it's, um, it's kind of, it's kind of a self-explanatory as you get used to it, uh, yeah, I just go back, and then you put opening and closing semicolon, I mean, opening, closing parentheses, and then a semicolon, and do the same for the rest, um, except for the go, the forward button and home and refresh, but the forward button's also self-explanatory. I don't think I have to tell talk anything about it. Just do it. Web browser one. Go back. Right? No. Forward. I'm sorry. I failed. And then open and closing parentheses and semicolon. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna give for all those of you guys have trouble. It's okay. I can. Um, I have a. I have the web browser. My web browser. The um. The PC, the um, intoxicated shuttle browser. That's what it's called. It's mine. I also copyrighted and trademarked it. Um, you guys can download it. I have a media file, media fire file in the description below. Dot dot, and you guys can download it if you have problems trying to make your own browser. So, yeah. So once you're done with your uh, forward button, it's time to go with the um, the home button. The home button is quite simple. It's this, and then again, web browser one, go home. And you have uh, two, um, you have the same functions of using the um, the, the brackets. Let's just call the opening and closing parentheses brackets. And that's also what it's called in um, C++ anyways. But for those newbies, you know. But um, making a web browser, you're not jumping the gun a little bit, you're, you're going step by step, but you're a little bit ahead. If you can make a web browser, surely you can make a freaking text that says hello world in the freaking GUI app or anything. So again, back to talking, um, we're going to make the refresh button, and guess what the refresh button is? <laughs> oh my god, it's so, it's so hilarious how it's everything's self-explanatory. Oh wait, what? Oh my bad, it's refresh, okay. So, uh, this has been Peaks of Geekish, but before I end this video, Let's see if our web browser is working. And in order for you guys to make sure that your web browser is working, you want to click the button called Start Debugging. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of history inside the description below how the word debug um, was invented. And for all those people or my friends who are watching this, some of my friends from Australia or whatever, I'm pretty sure you guys know what debugging means already. Um, For some people who don't know what debugging is, Click show more in the description, description below, and you can also check out other links too. So first, let's start debugging. Would you like to build it? Yes, build it. All you guys can press F5 or F7, but if you press F5, it'll it'll run it for you. It's, and uh, yeah. Yes, it's working. So congratulations. Um, so what do you guys want to type in? Uh, right, no, never mind. Never mind. Um, uh, what should I say? I don't know, Kerbal Space Program. And this is the shitty thing, though. I'm going to teach you guys how to change your search engine and your blank page into something like Google. 
So first, we know it's Bing. Look, okay, freaking shitty ass Bing. Okay, we have shitty ass Bing. And yes, it is literally a shitty ass Bing. Wait, what the fuck? What? There, there, there's Microsoft Space Simulator 2? Oh, I should watch this. Since when they have a space simulator? Fuck, I've been missing a lot. Anyways, so yes, we have Bing. <laughs> ah, ah, yes, we have Bing, right? So, before you guys ask, how are we gonna change it to, like, freaking Google or anything? Blech. Anything that's, like, other than freaking Bing, okay? Don't panic, don't panic. Chill, chill. Take a chill pill. I will teach you guys how. But first, we want to have your properties tab, and something's wrong with our properties tab right now. Um, hold on, real quick. Uh, crap, crap, crap. Alphabetical. No, there's something wrong with our properties tab. Uh, I'm not sure what's wrong with it, but if the properties tab somehow messed up, I'm gonna have to reopen it. There we go. There, much better. Okay, now we can have the text called refresh. Now we want the web browser. <laughs> open up the properties again. And you'll have to find a button, a name called URL. There should be a name called URL. There you go, URL. Oh wow, it's already highlighted. Um, you just type in www.google.com and it does the rest for you. Like the HTML, HTTP. And yeah, that's done. Woo! And you guys can also download this if you'd like to, but I'm not gonna let it go with freaking Google Shuttle, otherwise Google's gonna sue me. Um, I'm gonna have to also change. Let's see if I can actually change the um, search engine. But using, um, if you type in normally, you know, just fine. It's fine. Just type um, here. Let me just show you what you guys mean by the URL part. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of stuttering a little bit. I'm sorry. Kind of nervous. Okay, so open this up and guess what's gonna happen? Lol's Google. Google's hose. Google. Google's right here. And you can also search it, uh, make it into your homepage, but guess what our homepage is, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, Bing. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll try to my best to find a solution towards this search engine problem from fucking shitty Bing. And let's change it to Google, because everyone knows Google's better. Um, yeah. You guys can download my web browser in the description below. Um... Not recommended if you guys don't know what it means, but it's self-explanatory anyways. Um, so yeah, I'll just close this out real quick. Alright, so uh, it's been Peace of Geekish here. Pleasure to be teaching the wonderful children who wants to learn and, you know, survive from this mediocre world who's that's having malnourishment all over the place. Food stamps, etc, etc. So, come on, 